Hi, welcome everybody to part three of this series Marine Industry Video Marketing, A Beginner's Guide. It is 2024 and even in uh, more conservative niches of the marine industry, marketing efforts are shifting towards digital and with that to video. It sounds obvious, but it can't be overstated. If you want your video marketing to work, you need a solid foundation, a strategy. Here are some ideas to get you started. First, analyze your competitors. When it comes to developing a successful video marketing strategy, analyzing your competitors' tactics is a crucial first step. Start by scanning their websites, their social media platforms, and any other channels they use to understand how they utilize video to convey their messages. As you analyze your competitor's video marketing, be sure to ask yourself some questions. What types of videos are they creating? For what purpose? Are they using videos to improve conversions, educate prospects, explain their products or services, or boost brand awareness? Which communication channels are they using to promote their videos? Are they relying solely on a social video content marketing strategy, or are they also using traditional media? What topics are they covering? And how in-depth do they go? What tone are they using on their video? And are audiences engaging with them? Finally, how many videos are they producing per week, month, or year? By finding the answers to all of these questions, you'll be able to gain valuable insights into your competitors' video marketing strategies. You'll then be able to use these insights to improve or change your own strategy, helping your brand to stand out in the maritime marketplace. So take the time to analyze your competitors' strategies thoroughly. Next, set some goals. The very first step to creating a video content strategy is defining your goals. In this case, what you want to achieve with your videos. Do you want to attract new prospects? Are you trying to build authority and foster consumer trust? Do you need to persuade potential buyers to close the sale? In a perfect marketing world, you would want to create as many videos as you need to achieve all those goals. But we know it's not always possible. So you'll have to decide which is the most important to help your business grow now and prioritize that. To do that, think about the buyer's journey. If you want to introduce your brand to a new audience, you'll want videos that are designed to be used in the awareness stage. In case you want to engage and explain to prospects why your solution is the best one out there, you'll want consideration stage pieces. But if you're trying to prompt prospects into closing the sale, you'll want to develop decision stage videos. What's the difference here? Which is specific for what, you may ask? We've covered this in depth in a previous episode, which you can find here or here. I don't know. Take your audience into account. Understanding your audience's problems or needs will help you figure out what kind of story you can develop to position your product or service as a solution to their problems. How can you present yourself as a trustworthy and reliable company that's interested in helping them? Try to learn everything about your prospects. From demographics like gender, age and where they live, to more specific data such as likes, dislikes, habits and above all, their pain points or needs in regard to your product. You may even want to create a buyer's persona or adapt it from your previous strategic marketing efforts. Also, try to find out about your audience's preferred social platforms. This will tell you if you have to optimize your video content for different platforms. YouTube videos are quite different from TikTok videos. You will also learn where to direct your paid social media budget. Define concept and style. In a sea of content, you want your videos to be recognizable and aligned with your brand. Try to match your brand style and voice in your videos. Your brand voice will also influence your storytelling decisions. If your brand voice is serious and matter of fact, you probably don't want to start with telling jokes on TikTok. Yet even with a mature or serious tone, you want to show your audience relatable stories and not be too salesy. Plan your resources. There are basically three options here. Do you have the talent, the know-how, and the capacity in your company to produce all your video content in-house? Great. Or do you feel your workforce is already at capacity and adding video production would lead to distraction or an excessive workload? Then you've got to find a video production agency with proven expertise in your market. 
When you're outsourcing, you may want to have a scalable process with your production partners. You can start out with a package of one or two videos. Once trust is established, consider a bigger package or a retainer that will enable your agency to deliver more bang for the buck. Speaking of bang for the buck, some of our clients adopt a hybrid model where they create simpler content like social media shorts or after sales instruction videos in-house while having us take care of the more sophisticated videos. Sometimes we only do the post-production for employee short videos or help in media coaching, consulting or supervisory roles. Consider having a chat with us if you want to outsource your video creation fully or in part. Get started. Ideally, you have everything in place for a long-term video strategy. Human resources, budget, solid metrics from your existing sales and marketing campaigns and more. A lot of times things don't work out like that and you have to improvise a bit. As with other online marketing efforts, it's okay to start somewhere and iterate as you go along. If you start out with your in-house team and a tiny budget, just make sure to start with something simple. Small pieces to camera by staff members, maybe at company events or trade shows, are much easier to pull off than fully blown commercials. Take what you learn and improve next time. You might get the hang of it. And if you want to level it up, you can always call in a video production agency like us. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.